Well, Heathcliff. Mr. Linton, how are you? Hello, Cathy. I remember this room. Come in, Heathcliff. Sit by the fire. You have a whiskey? No, thank you. Well, I've never seen such a change in a man, Heathcliff. I wouldn't have known you. You seem to have prospered since our last meeting. Somewhat. Ellen said you'd been to America. Yes. We all wondered where you went. Oh, have you met my sister Heathcliff, Miss Linton? Miss Linton? Well, what brought about this amazing transformation? Did you uh, discover a gold mine in the new world, or perhaps you fell heir to a fortune? The truth is, I remembered that my father was an emperor of China, and my mother was an Indian queen. And I went out and claimed my inheritance. It all turned out just as you once suspected, Cathy, that I had been kidnapped by wicked sailors and brought to England that I was of noble birth. Are you visiting here long? I mean, in the village? The rest of my life? I've just bought Wuthering Heights. The house, the stock, and the moors. You mean that Hindley has sold you the estate? He's not aware of it as yet. I'm afraid it will be somewhat of a surprise to him when he finds out that his gambling debts and liquor bills were all paid up for him by his former stable boy. Or perhaps he will merely laugh at the irony of it, Mr. Linton. But I don't understand. I don't understand how this could have happened without Mrs. Linton hearing of it. Modesty compelled me to play the Good Samaritan in secret, Mr. Linton. By heaven, Heathcliff, this is the most underhanded piece of work I've ever heard of in this county. Well, if I'd only known, I... I knew that Hindley was in financial difficulties, but, but not that his property was being stolen from him by a stranger. I'm neither thief nor stranger, merely your neighbor, sir. Now I'll say good night. Wait, Heathcliff. Edgar and I have many neighbors whom we receive with hospitality and friendship. And if you are to be one of them, you're welcome to visit our house, but not with a scowl on your face or an old bitterness in your heart. Thank you. It occurs to me that I have not congratulated you on your marriage. I've often thought of it. Allow me to express my delight over your happiness now. Good night. Edgar, I think you behaved abominably. What? And you too, Cathy. I'm dreadfully disappointed in both of you. What in thunder are you talking about? You could at least have been civil to him. I conducted myself perfectly, Isabella, and so did Cathy. You dismissed him as if he'd been a servant. Well, don't tell me you thought of him as anything else. I thought him very distinguished. I hope I misunderstood you. It's impossible that any sister of mine could think of Heathcliff as anything but a, a surly dressed up beggar, a lout and a boor. I shall take precautions to ensure that you never see him again. Now go to dinner. 